as you can see this is my apartment slash warehouse slash where we make shirts I had the idea of making buy I would say 2012 or something like that there would be nothing behind just buy you know my mom told me like my second name would have been Jeremy I got to name it by Jeremy which sounds better than by David we're at Voltaire right now with Oli. He came last night from Finland. Everyone always asks me like who's on the team and everything, but there's not really like a team per se. I feel like Oli was the only one that I didn't know from before. I just sent him stuff and ever since then he's been super down. I started making the t-shirts in 2018 by the end and I would just send them to my friends and stuff. I left my job, I had some savings and I decided to just do this. It was beginning of 2020. I opened the website the week of COVID, like the second week of March. Most people think that you open the website and it just magically it sells you know you sold like two t-shirts and that's it which i mean i was expecting that too so you need to be patient and like think that it's gonna be for the best it looks very good right now this is just like a small percentage of the whole collection it's all over the place like that's the first one that i sold and that i did too it was a different logo as well it was those ones and the black butterfly. I mean, I always liked butterflies. So I was working at this company and they had these posters that I would, they would have as decoration, you know, and every collection they would change the posters. So I got like four or five, I don't remember how many. And on another one, there was that butterfly. I don't remember exactly what I did. I just put it black and white, like changed the levels a bit, which is crazy because it was the first logo that I ever did and it just stuck. I forgot my headphones. I've been here for almost eight years and I've never taken the metro. I want to move out of Paris without ever taking the metro, you know. The weather is so perfect now. I try to make a video every summer. If I can get some clips during the winter on a very good day like this, I try to get like a few clips and just for Instagram, but like big videos is just during the summer. This is a rare occasion. I don't even remember how to work the camera anymore. <laughs> someone is really good at filming fisheye I really like it too but for me the long lens captures a bit more the ambience like I don't know I like it better and it's more comfortable too I basically started filming a bit out of necessity when I first started the brand I didn't know if I was gonna make videos or if it's gonna be like just clothing and Instagram you can tell if you watch the first video that I made I bought the camera and I started filming right with that video So good, yeah. I got really lucky with the people that are on the team or are in the videos and are down to like support what I do, you know. I get an apartment and bring the most people that I can from the outside one or two times during summer and that way I get the most clips I can from them. It's always been Paris, only Paris. I like it when it's just like in only one place, you know? 
like after the first video that it was the second video the one that all right yeah after that one things got way better yeah by the end of 2021 it was when it started like working working I wasn't expecting it to have that many views. 50% of the views is probably my mom. Every two hours, she would message me with the number of views that I have. Just a group of friends skating out, good weather and just having fun, I guess. favorite one that I've done this one I mean the music the whole aesthetics of the brand the designs they come from the same place early 2000s late 90s music videos TV shows from like I don't know Malcolm in the middle American Pie stuff like that I grew up watching those movies and TV shows and the kind of music that I would listen to and still listen up to this day. I love like this piece of clothing and in the 90s and early 2000s they would always wear them and they would be like square shape, you know, like kind of boxy. Me or my girl, we never had used a sewing machine before, like ever. And during COVID, we weren't working, none of us, we couldn't go out. So we're like, we just buy that and and then one day she was like, oh, we should try to make a shirt. She convinced me to try it, which I'm very happy about. You have those industrial machines. In one minute, you can do what you make in like 10 minutes with this one. For this season, it's 28 times. We only make them for, for online. Like we don't sell them to stores because it would be impossible to like fulfill the orders. When you have a brand and you're like taking care of everything, you need to think that anything and everything can go bad at every moment. So you need to be patient and like at the end it will it will work. Passion basically, like it would it will work for sure. Now I'm selling to twenty something shops. I would say yeah. It doesn't sound like much, but when I have to pack all those T-shirts and make those boxes, it's a lot. For sure. <laughs> With a broken board. Oh, 
thanks for everything. Thank you. See you again. See you soon, hopefully. I mean, him just coming, I mean, not for me personally, but you know, for the brand and everything. I'm very thankful for them. And also like all the skate shops and everything that have been like supporting me since the beginning. I mean, the brand wouldn't be what it is without them either. So thanks to them, everyone that buys in the website as well, it's just, it really means a lot. And that's a bit corny, but it does. Yeah.